and welcome to Urban Empire. Now, my name is Mr. K. Uh, JTA is my producer, so I hope that you guys will enjoy. But first of all, I need to promote, well, the person that's going to be acting for me. Well, I'm going to be controlling a family, and they are going to be the Von... Von... How do you say this, JTA? Filtzen? Filtzen. Okay, the Von Viltzen are landed gentry, aristocrats with strong military traditions, and a hardline conservative stance. Their Grand Mayor has steadfast overlooked the same estate, surrounded by their fields and forests, since the early 14th century. Despite the land belonging to three different countries throughout the years. So their traditionists believe in social hierarchy and the people uh, need for stability in changing the world. Let's start with Gerbert. Gerbert. What kind of name is Gerbert? I see. Uh, yeah. So he puts the empire into power before everything. His strict upbringing in a militarized nobility left him emotionally repressed. While respected, he does not tolerate incompetence and deals ruthlessly with insubordination. He's a loyal man who believes in the emperor and a god-given right to rule. He will protect the realm with no one standing in his way. So we are going to be playing in a... Oh, we're going to play here now instead of the cauldron. I was going to play this cauldron, but now I've changed my mind. So now we're just waiting it to load. Now you see I'm kind of playing a game of my history. The history of my city. Uh, JTA is the producer of this, and he will be helping me throughout this campaign. Or whatever it is, this documentary? Should I call it a documentary? So now we're just loading the area in which I built my city. So obedience to law for society is the very foundation of life, when it becomes a stable, prosperous society. I'm a very pious man. A very pious man. And I think this guy is very much to my liking. I've seen him in many dinner parties, and he is a very avid drinker, as you can see by his rather large uh, beer belly. Yes, that's all I would like to say at the moment as we are loading into the game. I'm sorry that it is taking so long. Normally does this. Still being horrible. Okay, so this is in the eyes of my mayor, the person that I appointed a uh, rather a short time ago. So he is um, being given some money to be able to found this city. And I'm always going to start in the corner over here. Because this is a nice corner. Let's create the district then. We want the city hall to be rather close to the other areas, so we are going to be probably leaving it about here. Uh, maybe not, it needs to be rather in the middle of the district, so let's drop the district again. There we go, and place it here. There we are. 
and we shall now propose a district. We cannot change any of the zoning. Let's start. We are going to start with building up the railway station and stuff like that at the beginning of this. Because I did so ages back. As we can see, mainly industry in this area. Because we are closer towards the Empire and closer towards the Adriatic Sea. Now we are building up the residential sector as well. Hopefully we are going to slowly not lose money. As we place not our institution, we place a new thing in the district. We are going to be having a grammar school in the area. Don't worry my conservative brethren. This is going to be a school where we're going to be learning creationism because evolution of the pansies. So yeah, you should not be worried. Yeah, you are not that worried. We are definitely not going to do anything with you. We're probably going to be having all of them marry their cousins anyway. There's only like 500 people here. Ah, the liberals are starting to, uh, to make our party move. But we are going to be pleading them to arranging a private meeting with him because that will be very nice. So let's look at the parties overall. First we have my most favourite party, the Free Democratic Party which is right-wing, and uh, even though they want more liberalities, they are laissez-faire. Then we also look at the National Sorelian Party. Um, they look to promote uh, Sorelian ideas uh, with autonomy and self-governance, while we also have these liberal, hated people which are the physiocratic party which are rather horrid but we are definitely making grammar schools and we are doing it very well we've got a lot of demand for industry but we should not worry that will be sorted by the next time where we create another district, which should be now. This is just a district to be able to get more industry. We are looking to be rather well with each political party because stability is the one of the most greatest things when it comes to our city. See how good we are voting now. Much better than before. This is a nice little town. Yes, he, he rather enjoyed the dinner. We had nice, nice roast beef.
We want to help the Emperor, which is why we are going to make them more inclined with the Emperor. And we do have a new district. There's mainly going to be industry popping up as we have more industry demand. But we do need more space for the normal humans as well. Because when the industry demands go, the residential demand goes. And when the residential demand goes, it means that we need more commercial. We are losing money, which is upsetting. But hopefully, the more and more everything happens, the more and more everything is fine. But we are going to increase taxation to 15% each. But we need to push heavily for this to happen. helped greatly. And now I do not think there are any problems in terms of creating the new tax system. Yes, I do not believe there are any problems. I believe we are going to pass, definitely. And there we go. Now we are starting to be positive in terms of money. So we should wait until our balance in terms of the city money is alright, and then we will create the new district. Again. Thus, from this slight and very short experiment, we may understand and judge of the mighty and wonderful laws of the heavens and the nature of winds. And we will go with the newspaper. As we are ready to create the new district. At least I believe. I never knew there were such things in a legal district shape. We should wait until we get more money in the bank, actually. The glass industry is booming.
and you'll just go with a normal vote. I do not have enough prestige to do anything else. I would have done a quickened vote otherwise. But we are doing very well in terms of cash. Definitely when this party wins the elections. Even though I hate them, they have been helping me massively. And they have been doing more of the political points that we need to be able to pass these votes. And there should be no problems at all. And there we go, we have a new district. And we are doing very, very, very well with ourselves. But I shall wait before we start the railway station. Which is going to be here. I believe it's going to be here. We should wait till we have... Is it 2k? I believe it's 2k. So let's wait until we get... 2 million. So two million, two million in the bank. Now we are continuing to do very well, as we are going to use it for private usage. Let's check all of the industry. Let's go from city data and look at business areas. Is it business areas? Yes. Let's look at the ones with the biggest income. The alcohol industry. Then footwear, furniture and forestry. I see. not have any problems when it comes to voting for the railway station. And now we are just waiting for the vote to commence, really. I speed it up. I do not believe that we should be building labor unions. And let's try and influence the parties to be like that. I shall start calling you the Conservatard Party. It was a very funny joke. I enjoyed it very much. And we have got the railway station. And 
that is it. Let me just do this. Yes, that is fine. And let's pause this game. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe to JDA's channel. And that is it. Thank you and goodbye.